Hi there. In this video, we are going to show you how to use Helm charts to deploy applications on the K3S Rancher Kubernetes cluster. The procedure that we are going to show you will work for other applications, not only for Zookeeper, but this is an example that's fully documented. Please note that if you use the instructions directly as you find them on the web, it will not work. There is a line that you need to type into your terminal to make this work. Although K3S is a fork of Kubernetes, we have found that you need to run a certain command to make this thing work. So we will reveal the secret to you in this video. Keep watching towards the middle, you will learn the command you need to run to make this work. Thank you for now and let's get started with the installation of Zookeeper using a Helm chart. I will be following my instructions which I will provide as a link below and th that are on my blog. I'm going to assume that you have installed the Helm software. But if you go and look at the instructions on my blog, you will see how to do that. I show you the link where you can get the latest version of, of Helm, what to download and to extract it, and then to make the Helm program located in the local bin folder, user local bin folder, so that it can run on the server. You could also copy it to the user bin folder. Enough said about that. Why we want to use a Helm chart is the developers of the application put all the YAML files and package them together in what we call a Helm chart. So if you search for Zookeeper, you will find there are a few Helm charts where different teams are packaging it. We do recommend you select this one, Bitnami. The reason for that is that Bitnami is managed by VMware. So they make these Helm charts for all the software you would install on the Kubernetes cluster in their VMware servers. So having searched for Zookeeper and selected the Bitnami version brings us to this page. They provide us with three things here. Firstly, if you click here, they give you the instruction how to add the Bitnami repository to your Helm so that you can be able to install. You need to do this first. Otherwise, if you try to run the install, it won't find the chart. So after you've run this command, I've already done that on my computer, so it's not going to help me, but it would help you. You add that and then you add this. There is something else you need to be aware of. If you are using the K3S variant or fork of the Kubernetes, you need to run another command. We will show you all that. Now, templates are all the YAML files that are packaged by Bitnami. You can download all these package files. Let's say we want this package file and you go here. You'll see it's going to download the config map YAML file. And then if I go here to the next template and I say download, It'll download me that. So you could download the entire set of YAML files, which is actually quite a good exercise to do, because then you will be able to see all the 
files and you will have a local copy of all the files. And then lastly, if you run the install command like that, it will install that version without al uh, allowing you to make changes to any of the values. However, if you go and select the default values, you now get a YAML file that you can download and you see it's value zookeeper YAML. And then with this, you can go and change values like the version or you see like here, for example, that is the Debian version that they are using in their Docker. And you can actually go and change these versions to use a different version. So you could go into the Docker repository and you can look for this one here and you can change that. Also, you can override some of the secrets. So having looked at the, the Hound chart package and searched and having found the Zookeeper, this is now how we will install. As you may have seen in the installation instructions for the Vietnami version of Zookeeper, this was one of the commands you needed to run to add that repository. I'm not going to do it. As I said, I've already uh, added this to mine and I don't want to have an issue. Secondly, you can then create a file called the Zookeeper values, which is what you saw earlier. So let's go and create that. And then put this into there. and save it. Now, before you install the Helm chart, or before you even work with Helm charts, if you are working on K3S, this is the secret. You need to add this line. We need to declare a variable called kubeconfig and we need to point it to the K3S YAML file. Otherwise, the commands, the Helm commands won't work. So let's have a look and see if there is anything on the server Helm list. And there isn't. That's perfect. So now that we know there isn't, we can run this command. This is the same command that we would run to install. Let's just copy it, but there is a difference. Instead of Helm install, we will say Helm template. Now if I run it, it validates the YAML and it tells me that there was no error. Otherwise, it would have put the error message instead of displaying the YAML. So that's a good sign. It means that I am now able to deploy it. So now we are going to deploy it on the K3S cluster. After verifying the installation will work by using Helm template, now we need to say Helm install. instead of Helm template and run that. And you can see it installed. And what I recommend you do is grab the screen and paste it into a text file so that you have all the information about this installation. It shows you the ports and things. But I'm going to now use a Kubernetes command. So if I say kubectl get all. So you can see it's created me a service. Uh, Zookeeper-project and Zookeeper-project-headless. We also want to look at the endpoints. So kubectl get, get endpoints. And there you are. So you can see I've got three nodes in this cluster, three worker nodes, and it's been installed. This is the first worker node on port 3888. 
Here's the second node on port 2888. And here is the third node on port 2181. So there are three instances of each, of the headless and of the main zookeeper. Assume that after a while you want to make a change. Now Helm gives us an upgrade command. And if we look here, I can now use the values YAML as a parameter. So it's the same command like Helm install, except that there are two differences now. I've added a value so that it can pick it up out of the YAML file and I'm using Helm upgrade. So let's take this and run this. And I have now updated my installation. One of the benefits of using Helm charts is how easy you can uninstall or even roll back. If you've been managing your Helm chart with versions and using the values YAML file, Helm will keep track of all the versions that you have so that you can roll back. Also, uh, Helm makes it very easy to delete. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a Helm list, which will show me all the versions that I have. And in this case, I only have one. Now let's run this command. And you can see it says I have a revision one. What we need to do in order to delete it is to look at the name that's in the list and then use that with the Helm delete command. So I'm now going to copy that and run that. And you see it says there release that has been uninstalled so if we go now and do a list we see it's gone thank you for watching this video we trust you found this useful please let your friends know about this channel as we have interesting videos which we intend to publish please give us a like and subscribe to our channel so that our channel can grow cheers for now mm -hmm.